Oh my gosh, you guys, look at these approvals right here. $7,500 and $3,000 approval. And this is with the Venture One Rewards credit card through Capital One. Now, for those people that's looking for the best credit card of the year or just the best, uh, one of the great credit cards for traveling, one of the best credit cards for traveling, then you're definitely in the right place because I really love this credit card. Now, if this is your first time watching my videos, my name is Rakita. Hi, make sure you guys like this video. Make sure you guys subscribe. I talk about real estate and credit. And if you guys are back, welcome, welcome. Welcome. Hopefully you guys are finding the credit cards that you guys need. If you have any questions, make sure you leave them in the comments. I am super busy, so I can't really take calls right now. Um, so if you guys have any questions, please go ahead and leave them in the comments and I'll be sure to answer them. Now let's not waste any more time because there's a lot of things I want to talk to you guys about when it comes down to the um, Capital One credit card. Now Capital One, they have so many different credit cards you can get, but I really love their Rich One Rewards credit card because, and it's actually two of them. The reason why I really like this because you guys can pre qualify qualify for it and they have great rewards so if you guys are looking to get a credit card then try to see if you can get a credit card that can pre-qualify you and pre-qualification mean they're going to be able to tell you yes or no on whether or not you can get the credit card without giving you that hard inquiry so definitely see if you can pre-qualify for this credit card now they also don't have an annual fee for this credit card they do have one with an annual fee they have one without it um, they have other um, cards that's for traveling with annual fees that give you more rewards but Try to see which one kind of best suits you. Um, I really like this one, and I like the one without the annual fee because it's for good and excellent credit. So if you got good credit or if you have excellent credit, they have one for you. So definitely try to see if you can pre-qualify for them. And there's so many other credit cards you can get just like this. I have a guide um, for you all if you need that guide. So definitely um, check out my blog. I have the guide right there on my blog. But it's other credit cards that's just like this one, but some of them, like I said, they have annual fees. But depending on the rewards, it may outweigh um that fee that you guys are going to get now some of the rewards that you guys are going to get for this credit card is you're going to get unlimited one um 1.25 miles on every dollar that you guys do spend so i really like that on every purchase and then you guys are going to earn five percent um um not five percent five miles per dollar you guys are earning miles with this one it's not like a um, cash back straight cash back for you all where you get a certain percentage is actually they're putting in the miles and you guys are going to get the five miles per dollars on hotels and rental cars that you book through the capital one travel now i really like the capital one travel because they can actually um give you the price match guarantee they can guarantee that they can match whatever price you have or say if you book your travel already you can actually go back and say hey i Got this discount and they can still um, price match that so for those people that really like to travel you like to get the discounts like me you want to try to find out how you can save especially knowing my family is big we need to do these different things then this is a great one because they do the price match for you now you guys are going to earn depending on which one you get and look at the current rewards because each one is different um, this video is September 2022 technically but these it's the same thing they just have different rewards a lot of times but right now you guys can earn 20,000 bonus miles once you spend five hundred dollars um in purchases in the first three months um from opening your account so you guys are going to get twenty thousand bonus miles so like i said that's a nice feature for if you guys need to travel you guys are already getting rewards as soon as you apply for this credit card and like i said they will price match you can't you can't lose with that um another thing that i do like is if you guys have good credit um when i say good credit try to have your credit score i'll say over like a 680 um if your credit score is over 680 then you have a great chance of getting their zero percent intro APR rate for 15 months. You can get that credit card that offer that. So if you guys need to put purchases on your credit card, you won't, guys won't be charged interest for the first 15 months. So I really like that. So you guys want to get the points. You guys want to get the cash back. And I hope you guys are doing a lot of traveling so you can rack up those points throughout the year. Now, the link for this credit card is in the description and the comments all the time. Don't forget, I always have it there. And I definitely have my blog my blog too so check it out there and it's more detailed re, um, review of it now this one the capital one credit card or now you know any of their credit cards they're going to pull all three credit reports all three credit bureaus um when they try to prove you for this credit card that's something i don't like but you know that's just what they're doing right now they're pulling all three credit bureaus so 
be aware that um, I always tell people the point that you can pre-qualify is kind of saving you because they can't pre-qualify you for anything that don't get anything like you you don't you're not forced to get anything um, but if they can pre-qualify you then you think mm, do I want to get a hard inquiry on three different credit bureaus so you definitely can make that um, decision but they are going to report to all three credit bureaus which is good too for those people that you know maybe you still don't know too much about credit this one is going to report to all three um, credit bureaus so that's a good feature now I will do tell people people um, not to pay interest on your credit cards um, by keeping your balance uh, paid off paying your full statement balance in full by your due date I always like to pay my bills uh, um, at least like five days ahead of time if not more than that because I remember where I used to think stuff was set up on auto pay and it wasn't and not paying it it just dropped my credit score somewhat so I'm just like traumatized so I always try to set all my bills up on auto pay and make sure they're being paid five days ahead of time so I don't have to worry about them so try to do that same thing um, if you are using your credit card and you taking advantage of that zero percent APR on this credit card um, I would suggest that you all just make sure you keep in mind that the utilization and holding the balance on a credit card is going to drop your credit score so uh, definitely keep that in mind the more you have on your credit card in terms of a balance then you know the lower your credit card your credit score could be so make sure you guys keep the balance on your credit card as much as you can and like I said too my biggest thing is I just like to pay my full statement balance like and I remember I went traveling before and somebody's like you gonna use cash yes because it's going to report um I don't sometimes it's your credit cards even if you pay your full statement balance in full you can pay your full statement balance in full if they did not report to the credit bureaus yet um then they can if you must to use your credit card then they can report whatever you're using to the credit bureau so I always tell people um try to wait until three days after your due date to try to use your credit card again because if you use it too soon you all they're going to report that to the credit bureaus and your credit score can be lower and you don't want that so if you can just make sure you wait until three days after your due date um to use your credit card that's for those people that want to make sure that utilization is low because you may want to just get this credit card but then you may want to get other credit cards right now and if you were to use too much in your credit cards it's going to be a, you're going to have a hard time of getting approved for more credit cards just like if you guys have like negative accounts in your credit reports you're going to have a hard time getting approved for more credit cards so definitely um, check out my school membership because I teach you guys all about disputing negative accounts in your credit reports keep your utilization low and other tips that you guys can use to make sure your credit score is higher and then I have all the reviews on all these credit cards there all the PDFs there um, you just have everything um, there and definitely check it out I make sure I have the link down in the comments and I have the link down in the description now again YouTube know what videos that you guys like so definitely check out these videos these videos they say it's the best video for you because they know what you like they know what you watch they know what you kind of probably need to see next so definitely check out these videos and if you have any questions definitely go ahead and leave me your questions in the comments I'll be sure to answer any questions that you all have and I'll see you guys in the next video